Covington Landmark is closing its doors after more than eight decades of service. When Dick's Standard Service opened, gas was just 14 cents a gallon. Anyone remember that? <laughs> well, that was a lifetime ago for the owner who, as Nine on Your Side Scott Wegner tells us, is ready to lock the doors on a tradition. Dick's Service. You don't find many places like Dick's Standard Service anymore. You go ahead and replace the back spray pan. It's not clean and tidy. The mechanics don't wear uniforms, and the customers love it. He knows everybody by name. He knows their family, you know, and everybody knows him. Back in the day, it was a shiny gas station and auto repair, started by Dick Ostendorf back in 1931. His son, Butch, grew up here and eventually took over the business. I dropped out of college, and so and here I am. His office is cluttered with history he just never got around to throwing away. Molding repair manuals and wiper blades from the 1950s. And something else Butch Ostendorf never got rid of. He's trustworthy. He's friendly and receiving and warm. Mr. Butch real nice, man. He, he treat everybody over here like family. Now, after 84 years, the garage, trusted by generations, is closing its doors. I'm actually sorry to go, uh, but uh, being 80 years old, I think it's time to kind of move on. As word spread, a steady stream of customers stopped in to say goodbye. And my car-in-law just told me. going to miss this place. Doug Erkins, his mechanic for the last four years, said it best. 80 years old, time for a vacation. And time for generations of customers to mourn the passing of a Covington landmark. Scott Wegener, 9 on your side, Covington.